Hi teachers and students. Today we're going to study something called conduction. It's the way that heat moves through something that's solid. And for this experiment you'll need a cup or a beaker, some butter, and some sticks of various materials. This one is a wooden bamboo skewer, this is a piece of copper, this is steel, and this one's plastic. And try to get them about the same size as much as possible. I'm going to cut four identical pieces of butter. And this butter is refrigerated because we're going to look at the transfer of heat, so I want it to be pretty cold to start with. I want to try to get these all the same size to make this a fair experiment. Next, what I'll do is take each one of these and put it on one of my rods. A little bit messy for this experiment. I'm going to put it in the beaker like that. I'll do the same with the copper. I want the pieces of butter to be about the same height from the bottom of the beaker. I don't want one of them up here and the other one down there. Now I have the four pieces of butter arranged on steel, plastic, copper, and wooden skewers. I'm going to add some very hot water and the heat should travel up these rods and melt the butter, causing it to slide down or to fall off. Which one do you think will melt the fastest? Which material will conduct heat the best? The steel is conducting the heat up to the butter and causing it to melt and slide down the rod. And there goes the copper. But the plastic and wood do not seem to be conducting heat. I'll let the video run a little longer and see if they too can melt the butter. Notice that the plastic and the wood do not seem to be conducting the heat up as fast as the steel and copper did. And you may notice that when you have a cooking pan in your kitchen, the pan is made of metal, but the handle is probably made of plastic or of wood so that it doesn't conduct heat when you try to grab it. If the handle is made of metal, you need to use a pot holder to insulate your hand against the heat that's conducted into that handle. Look what a good conductor that copper is. It's melting all the way through that butter. So we saw that heat was conducted through these materials and it conducted through metals like copper and steel faster than it conducted through materials like plastic and wood. Why do you think that would be? Well, I noticed the metals seem to be heavier than the plastic and the wood. And that's because their molecules are closer together. The tip molecules tend to be bigger and closer together. And because of that, the heat can travel through there very easily. For example, if you wanted to pass a ball to your friend who was a long, long ways away, it might be hard to get that ball to them and for them to catch it. But if you're closer together, it's easier. So when the molecules are big and close together, or what we call dense, it's easy for the molecules or for the molecules to transfer the heat through that. But when the molecules are far apart, it's much harder. So metals are good conductors of heat. Plastics and woods are insulators of heat. They don't transfer temperature very well. So when you have a solid object like this, heat can travel through it through the process of conduction.